The Book of Boba Fett Episode 2 delivers one of the most thematically rich stories to date. In the tribes of Taton, Boba Fett finds kinships and purpose with the Tuskins as the herds threaten his claim on Mos Espa in the present. The Book of the Boba Fett Chapter 2 The Tribes of Tatoon delivers one of the best and most thematically rich episodes of Star Wars television to the date. The episode opened up on Boba Fett and Fennec Chant interrogating the new prisoner, a member of the Order of the Nightwind, under the fear of being eaten by a rancor that no longer exists. The assassin reveals that he was sent by the mayor, which leads Boba Fett and Fennec on a bit of wild goose chase. The duo head into the Mos Espa to get an audience with the mayor, much to the <coughs> chagrin of his major domo. Mos says, has the assassin killed and pays Boba Fett off like he hauled in a bounty, uh, which perhaps to the surprise of the fans prompt uh, Boba to announce that he isn't a bounty he isn't a bounty hunter, at least not anymore. Uh, so the Mos offers Boba some sage advice about ruling before sending them on their way to questions Garza Web about the assassin. At the sanctuary, uh, conversations about the assassins are quickly forgotten when Whip, uh, Whip reveals that Jab Jabba, the Hart's cousins, have come to Tatoon to lay claim to their cousin's place. But this wasn't teased for a later episode. Beyond the sanctuary, drums are had uh, heralding the arrival of Twin Hearts. All of this takes place over the course of uh, first 14 minutes of a whopping of 15 minute episode, clocking it in as one of the longest episodes of Star Wars. Uh, from there, the remainder of the episode is focused on Boba Fett's time with the Tuskins and his evolution as a person, at least uh, the groundwork for who he has, he is as a leader in the present, uh, someone willing to find a way to work together rather than attacking when first provoked. Uh, without his armor or his ships, Boba Fett uh, is forced to be reborn as a new person in the most literal sense of the phrase. Uh, for the majority of Boba Force canon existent, he has been cast as a ruthless, bloodthirsty, and violent bounty hunter who is willing to do whatever his employer requests. George Lucas, prequel era of movies and the subsequent of Clone Wars animated, uh, animated series uh, made strides to remind audience that he was one of a little boy who lost his father. But it is it wasn't until the book of Boba Fett uh, that this has become thematically important for who he for who he is, he is as a character. Uh, from its very inception, Star Wars has always been viewed as a western and the Mandalorian. The current creative team has learned to heavily enter narrative structure of this genre. Uh, rather than borrowing further from the regressive trope of viewing the Tuscan readers as savages, which was first set in the motions during the original trilogy and further perpetuated by the attack of the clones, uh, Boba Fett. Uh, has gone to great lengths to humanize these people not just through their interactions with Boba Fett but by underscoring their history as a native people of Tatoon who have been mistreated by the off-worlders settling there. With Tuscan, Boba Fett finds a pseudo-family he has the Tuscan the trains with and finds kinship with. One of the young Tuscans is like his shadow always trailing along beside him. He cares for them, mourning their dead and partaking in their rituals. He actively tries to find a way to protect them and, and better their circumstances without changing uh, who they fundamentally are. He also has a deep respect for those who they are as people reflected in his following speech, uh, The Train Haste. In the final act of the episode, one of the dead have uh, burned and the dust has settled. Perfect is welcomed into Tuscan chief's tent and presented with a gift for his service. Morrison performance here is so good because he 
treads a humorous line of, of humbled gratitude and bewilderment, especially when this small lizard climbs into his nose to guide him. Star Wars is at best when it is weird. And it is real weird here as Boba is taken on a hollow Sinogenic journey, seeing the literal de depictions of soul searching quest, uh, one filled with visceral memories of near death experiences, uh, the oceans of Boba homeward, Camino, and its zebras paints as a vivid scene. The tribes of Tatoon also recognized a pair of fractures that were cut from the original trilogy when Boba Fett ventures the Tus <coughs> Tuscus station to fight the murders and still their land speeders. A pair of locals are there being roughed up by the group. Kami and Lay's fixer Lone Uzna were first introduced as a friend of Luke Skywalker in Star Wars, but they were later cut from the movie. What is interesting about their inclusion is that it is very much deep cut reference. If you don't have an depth knowledge of deleted scenes or if you don't watch the Boba Fett with subtitles on, you will never know who this pair was unlike some cameos that are overshadowed in the central, to the central character, uh, their inclusions just strength the connections to Tatoon without distracting the, from Boba Fett's story. While the script is undoubtedly bears the hallmarks of John Favreau's storytelling style, a lot of the credit for this episode goes to instructions uh, for Steph Green, who is the director, who expertly employs montage, dynamic, and narrative driven uh, scenes, compositions, and four page action to create one of, if not the best episode of Star Wars televisions. When uh, Boba Fett is with the Tuscans, so much of their communication is through sign language and minimum, minimal sorted dialogues, which requires heavy lifting from the Morrison to stay fully engaged with each action and reactions. Uh, there is no better actor to embody this role as he infuses his performance with no such on his own Mario culture. The tribes, uh, with the tribes of Tatoon, the Book of Power reminds us that Star Wars is about so much more than Skywalker and the Jedi and the epic space battles. They support the individual stories, rich cultures, and the give and take of shared experience. So that was the review of the second episode. So the first two episodes of the Boba Fett are streaming on Disney+. Plus. You can watch and enjoy the full Star Wars series. Let me know what you thought on, on episode 2 and please subscribe and support.